Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. It's time for more of APA Vintage Season action. We are in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, for a battle between the 1969 Seattle Pilots and the 1960 Washington Senators. I love my APA Vintage Season. The Pilots, managed by Joe Schultz, who enjoyed his Budweiser, start the APA Vintage Season with a record of 1-3. and three. The Senators, managed by Cookie Lavagetto, uh, start their season also at 1-3. and three. So, we're near the bottom of the American League standings for this one. Um, the pitching matchup will be Marty Patton for the Pilots. I hesitate to call him the ace of the staff, but I think that's pretty much what he was. And he will be opposed by Pedro Pete Ramos for the uh, Senators. So we have a battle of right-handed pitchers on the mound in this one. Uh, in the description for this video will be a link to channel membership. If you enjoy this kind of action, then channel membership is definitely for you. Plus, not only do you get access to members-only exclu exclusive videos, you get discounts on the secondary store and a free gift from me every month. You cannot beat it with a club. All right, so we're just about ready for Pilots versus Senators. Let's get to tonight's starting lineups. For the visiting Pilots, Tommy Harper leads off at third, Mike Hegan bats second and right, Don Mincher bats third at first base, Wayne Comer bats fourth, he'll be in center, Steve Whitaker bats fifth, he's in, right, in left, excuse me, Jerry McNertney bats sixth. He's the catcher. John Donaldson bats seventh. He'll play second base. And Ray Euler bats eighth. He'll be at short. On the mound, it's right-hander Marty Patton. In 1969, he was a D-grade pitcher with an X modifier. For the homestanding Senators, Bill Gardner leads off at second. Uh, Lenny Green bats second in center field. Harmon Killebrew bats third at first base. Jim Lemon bats fourth in left field. Bob Allison bats fifth in right. Reno Bertoya, Reno Bertoya, bats sixth. He'll play third. Earl Batty bats seventh. He'll catch. Jose Valdivioso, Valdivioso, Valdivioso. You know, I couldn't figure out how to pronounce his name, so I did something really intelligent. I turned on the New York Yankee broadcast playing the Senators where I knew that he would be playing, and I relied on Phil Rizzuto's pronunciations. I think there were nine of them during that game. Nine different ways to pronounce Valdivioso. He'll bat eighth and play shortstop, and Pedro Ramos bats ninth. He'll pitch. He's a B-grade pitcher in 1960 with a Y modifier. And we are ready to go in D.C. Tommy Harper stands in to lead it off, and the delivery from Ramos is a base hit for Harper to left. Drops in front of Jim Lemon, and the pilots have a man aboard to get things going in the first inning. He did not talk about defense. The Pilots have 34 fielding points. They are in with this lineup. They are a fielding three. The Senators, 33 points. They are also a fielding three. Here's Hegan. Ramos the stretch and the pitch to Mike, and he struck him out. One down in the Pilots first. Here's Don Mincher. Ramos the stretch and the delivery. To mention, he draws a walk. Two are on with one out. Chance for the Pilots to get in front early in this one. Wayne Comer comes to the plate. Ramos the stretch and the pitch to Comer is swung on by Wayne and hit to Valdiviozzo at short. 
Valdez <laughs> shorts. <laughs> I may just call him Valdi. He flips to Gardner for one, and that's all they're going to get. Comer reaches on the fielder's choice. Mincher retired 6-4. Harper gets to third. There's M Pilots at the corners with two outs for Steve Whitaker. Ramos the stretch and the delivery. Whitaker swings and hits one to Billy Gardner. He throws to Harmon Killebrew at first, and that will retire the Pilots in inning number one. So they get a couple of base runners, but that's the end of that. We go to the bottom of the first with no score in Washington and the Senators coming to bat. Marty Patton will face Gardner, Green, and Killebrew in the Senators' first inning. Patton kicks and deals. Gardner hits one to right. This is Mike Hegan. He's got it for out number one. Lenny Green up there now. The wind and the delivery by Patton to Green is a comebacker to Marty. No, that's off his foot. Going to be called a foul ball. And the next delivery to, Mar to Lenny Green from Marty Patton is strike three and a bender. Two down in the first. And here's Harmon Killebrew, a young Harmon Killebrew. Patton kicks and deals. Killebrew strikes out, swinging on a Patton bender. So it's a one, two, three first for Marty Patton. We go to the second, and there is no score between the 69 Pilots and the 1960 Washington Senators. The Pilots finished in last, of course, in the brand new American League West in 1969. The Senators won 73 games in 1960. That was good enough for fifth place in the American League. It'll be McNertney, Donaldson, and Oilers, 6 7 8 in the Pilots' second inning. The pitch to Jerry is swung on by the Pilots' catcher and hit to Gardner at second. He throws to Killebrew, and there's one down in the Pilots' second inning. Here's John Donaldson. The pitch to him is a base hit just over the shortstop over Valdez's glove. And that will be a one-out base runner for the Pilots. Euler at the plate. Ramos the stretch. The delivery to Ray. There goes Donaldson trying to steal. Earl Batty fires down to Billy Gardner, and they get Donaldson sliding, and that is an out stealing 2-4. So with two outs now, Euler continues his at bat, and the delivery to him is a base hit into left field for Ray Euler. I said a base hit for Ray Euler. Ray Euler got a base hit. A two-out single for the pilot shortstop, and that'll bring up Marty Patton. Tommy Harper would be next. The stretch by Ramos and the delivery. Swung on by Patton and hit to right. Dying quail for Bobby, Bobby, not Bob, Bob. Bob, not Bobby. Allison and Wright is going to make the catch for out number three. We go to the bottom of the second. We have no score in Washington. Marty Patton will face Lemon, Allison, and Bertoya in the Senators' second inning. Marty Patton kicks and deals and strikes out Jim Lemon. Marty Patton has three strikeouts in a row. Now it's Bob Allison. Patton winds and deals. It swung on and hit to left. Steve Whitaker over by the foul line is going to make the catch for out number one. Here's Bertoya with nobody on. Patton kicks and deals. Reno pops it up. McNertney off with the mask and makes the catch over by the screen for out number three. We've played two in Washington and we have no score between the Pilots and Senators. Top of the order coming for Seattle in the third. It's Harper, Hegan, and Mincher. The wind and the delivery by Ramos is swung on and hit to second. And Billy Gardner fumbles it. That's going to be a E4, an E4 on the Senator's second baseman. Harper reaches. Here's Mike Hegan. Joe Schultz knows enough to put a play on when this kind of thing happens. Ramos the stretch and the delivery to Hegan. And that is going to be bounced as Billy Gardner at second. With Harper on the move, 
Gardner gloves it, throws to Killebrew, and Harper moves up to second base with one out. Getting the runners moving paid off that time. Here's Don Mincher. Ramos the stretch and the pitch to Minch. Is strike three swinging. Ramos got him with the upstairs cheese. That's strikeout number two for the Senators' right-hander, and it brings up Wayne Comer. Steve Whitaker is on deck. The pitch from Ramos, and a Comer swings, and it's a comebacker. Knocked a hot shot, knocked down by Ramos. He picks it up, throws to Killebrew, and that'll retire the Pilots in inning number three. We've played two and a half, and we have no score in Washington. Batty, Valdivioso, and Ramos coming up in the Senators' third inning. Marty Patton kicks and deals. Batty swings and pops it up. Over by the screen, it's Jerry McNertney making the catch for out number one. Now it's Valdivioso. The pitch from Patton is a base hit for Valdivioso. He gets into left field where Steve Whitaker collects it and throws it back in, and the Senators have a one out base runner. Ramos comes to the plate. Pat in the stretch, the pitch to Pedro. He squares to bunt and he fouls it off. So we'll see if Cookie Lavagetto keeps the play on. The stretch by Patton, the pitch to Ramos. He does square to bunt. It's bunted back to Marty Patton. He looks at second but throws to Donaldson covering at first, and the sacrifice indeed works. Valdivioso moves up to second base with two outs, and here's Billy Gardner. The future ah, Twins manager. Did he manage the Royals too? He might have. Let me know in the comments. Pat in the stretch and the pitch to Gardner. Is ball four. He walked him. So the Senators have two men on now for Lenny Green with two outs. Harmon Killebrew would be next. Of course, that's the guy they really want to get up there. The stretch by Patton and the pitch to Green. Swung on by Green, and this is going to be trouble for Seattle. It is to right and deep. Back goes Hegan, warning track, wall, and it's gone. A three-run bomb for Lenny Green puts the Senators up 3-0 in the third. Yikes. That didn't take long. That one left here in a hurry. Here's Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew is 0-for-1. Patton winds and deals to Killer, and there's a base hit for Killebrew with two outs. And I'll bring up Lemon. Good power in the middle of the Senators' order here. Patting the stretch and the pitch to Lemon. Is swung on by Jim, and he missed everything on that bender. So that'll end the Senators' third inning, but not before. They get three runs on three hits, and they leave one. We go to the fourth. It's Washington three and Seattle nothing. Pedro Ramos will face Steve Whitaker, Jerry McNerney, and John Donaldson in the fourth. The pitch swung on and missed by Whitaker. That is strike three and the third strikeout for Pedro Ramos. Here's Jerry McNerney, 0 for 1. Ramos kicks and deals. McNertney hits it to left. Can of corn for Jim Lemon, and he's got it for out number two. John Donaldson singled and was thrown out stealing in the second inning. The pitch to him is swung on and hit to short. Valdivioso throws to Killebrew, and the pilots are done in the fourth in 1-2-3 fashion. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and your score is Washington 3 and Seattle nothing. Allison, Bertoya, and Batty coming up in the Senators' fourth inning. Patton kicks and deals. Allison swings and pops it up. 
In short left field, Ray Euler calls and takes it for out number one. Here's Reno Bertoya. Patton winds and deals to him. Bertoya pops it up. One more chance for Jerry McNertney off with the mask and makes the catch for out number two. Earl Batty up there now. Patton kicks and deals, and Batty drills this one to right center. It's going to one-hop the outfield fence. Wayne Comer's got to go get it. Batty around first. He'll have himself a two-out double. And another chance for the Senators to add a run. Here's Valdivielso, and they're going to walk him for reasons beyond my comprehension. And... Ramos will come to the plate, the pitcher, with two outs and two on. Patton the stretch and the pitch to Ramos. Swung on by Pedro and popped up. Jerry McNerney's been a busy guy. He's under it in foul territory and makes the catch to retire Washington in the fourth. We go to the fifth, and your score, Washington three and Seattle nothing. This will be Euler, Patton, and Harper coming up in the Seattle fifth. All right, Euler's one for one. The pitch from Ramos to Euler is swung on and bounced to short. Valda Vielso gloves it and throws to Gillibrew for out number one. Marty Patton up there now. Could hit for him. But he's really only had one bad inning. So I'm going to let him bat. Don't want to burn through that high-quality pilot's bullpen too quickly. Here's Ramos to Patton. And this one is hit to center. Not deep. Lenny Green is there, and he's got it for out number two. Tommy Harper's been on twice, but he has not scored either time. The pitch from Ramos is swung on and missed by Harper. Strikeout number four for Pedro. He has now retired nine pilots in a row. We're halfway through this one, and your score is Washington three and Seattle nothing. Patton will face the top of the Senator's order in the bottom of the fifth. Marty kicks and deals to Billy Gardner, and he swings and hits one to Euler at short, and Ray fumbles the ball. That's going to be an E6, allowing Gardner to reach. Lenny Green comes to the plate, and he's flexing his muscles after hitting a bomb in the third to account for all of the scoring in this game so far. The stretch by Patton and the pitch to Green. And this time he remembered he's Lenny Green. It's a ground ball to Ray Euler at short. He flips to Donaldson for one, and the relay to Don Mincher is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing 6-4-3 double play turned by the Pilots. And that'll bring up Harmon Killebrew with nobody on base. The pitch by Marty Patton is ball four to the killer. And he's on for the second time, and it brings up left fielder Jim Lemon. Bob Allison would be next. The stretch by Patton and the pitch to Lemon is swung on by Lemon and hit to Donaldson at second. John gloves it, throws to Mincher, and the Senators are done in the bottom of the fifth. We go to the six with your score, Washington three and Seattle nothing. The Pilots are hanging around in this game. Uh, so they can do this. It's Hegan, Mincher, and Comer coming up in the sixth. Mike is 0 for 2. Pedro Ramos kicks and deals. Hegan swings and hits one to left. Coming on is Jim Lemon. And he drops the ball. That's going to let Hegan reach uh, and go to second base. Lemon drops it and then kicks it. Hegan goes to second, and the Pilots have a runner in scoring position with nobody out. Here's Don Mincher at 0 for 1. Ramos the stretch and the pitch to Mincher. Uh... Ah. 
And here goes Hegan. He's trying to steal third. The throw down from Batty to Bertoya. And Batty launches this throw into left field. Yikes, it's down the left field line. Hegan slid into third head first. He's coming home. And that's going to be a stolen base and an E2 that allows Hegan to score. It's 3-1. Senators now as the Senators throw it around. Mincher still at the plate. Ramos deals to him. And it's hit back to Ramos, who fumbles the ball. Mincher will reach on the E1, and the Senators are falling apart in the sixth inning. Here's Wayne Comer. Ramos the stretch. Comer's 0 for 2. Ramos the stretch, and the pitch to Wayne is hit to right. Can of corn for Bob Allison, and he's got it for out number one. Mincher holds at first. Now Steve Whitaker, the former Yankee at the plate. He's 0 for 2. The pitch from Ramos. He takes ball four. Boy, this has been an ugly inning for the Senators. Two errors, three errors in the inning, plus a base on balls. The Pilots have scored without the benefit of a hit. So there's Mincher at second, Whitaker at first, and McNertney comes to the plate. Ramos the stretch, McNerney's 0 for 2, and the pitch to him is strike 3. Ramos gets him on a bender. He gave him the old jelly leg. And Mincher, or McNerney, excuse me, is gone, and that'll bring up Donaldson. Two outs now. The stretch by Ramos and the pitch to J.D. Is a ground ball hit to Bertoya at third. Reno fires to Killebrew, and that will retire the Pilots in the six, but they get a run on three Senators' errors and no hits. They leave one. We go to the bottom of the six. The Pilots are back in it. It's Washington three and Seattle one. Allison, Bertoya, and Batty coming up for the Senators in the sixth inning. Marty Patton kicks and deals, and he strikes out Allison. That is strikeout number five for the Pilots' right-hander. Bertoya comes up now. He hasn't hit one in fair territory yet. Marty Patton winds and deals to him. Bertoya swings and grounds it to Euler at short. Ray is up with it and fires to Mincher at first. They get Bertoya by 14 steps. That will bring up Batty, one for two. Patton winds and deals, and Batty swings. Bounces it to Mincher at first. He's going to take it to the bag, unassisted for out number three. We go to the seventh. Marty Patton with a quality start. We go to the seventh, and your score is Washington three and Seattle one. All right, in the seventh, Pedro Ramos will face Ray Euler. A pinch hitter has moved into the on-deck circle to bat for Marty Patton. That's Steve Hovley. And Tommy Harper, 8-9-1, coming in the pilot's order. Throwing in the Seattle bullpen. Diego Segui, who actually pitched opening day for the 77 Mariners, another expansion team also in Seattle. How's that for your Seattle fun fact of the day? Anyway, Segui is going to pitch the bottom of the seventh for the Pilots. But first, it's Euler, Hovley, and Harper against Pedro Ramos. The Pilots trail by two here in the seventh. Euler's one for two, and the pitch to him is ball four. Euler trots down to first, and that is going to cause movement, if not outright throwing, in the Washington Senator bullpen. Here is left-handed batting outfielder Steve Hovley. Ramos the stretch and the pitch to Steve. Is a ground ball hit to Valda Vielso at short. He gloves it and throws to Killebrew at first. That'll move Euler to second base with one out. And now, Tommy Harper. Ramos the stretch and the pitch to Harp. 
Is a base hit for Tommy Harper? No, it's cut off by Bertoya. Take it in for left for left field. Bertoya makes a nice play on it, fires to Killebrew, and that will get Harper by a half step at first. Coming to third on the play is Euler. There's a man for the pilots 90 feet away, but two outs for Hegan. Oh, that one looked like it was going to left field, but Bertoya made a nice play to his left, fired to Killebrew, and that retired Harper. Hegan is 0 for 3, the pitch from Ramos. Mike swings and pops it up. In fair territory, Harmon Killebrew is there, and he's got it for out number three. Well, they threaten but don't score. It's time to stretch them out in Washington with your score. The Senators three and the Pilots one. Marty Patton in this game went six innings. He allowed four hits, one of them a home run. He walked two. He struck out five. He had an un another walk intentionally. He allowed three runs. They're all earned. He's on the hook for the loss unless the Pilots can rally. The new Seattle pitcher is Diego Segui. And he was a right-hander in 1969 with a B grade and an X strikeout modifier. All right, Valdivielso, Ramos, and Gardner. Coming up in the Senators' seventh, the pitch from Segui is a ground ball hit to Euler at short. Ray charges, fires on the run, and they get Valdivielso at first base by a step. Here comes Ramos. Segui kicks and deals, and Ramos drills this one into right center. Hegan cuts it off in the gap. Pedro around first. He's coming to second. Sliding, he is safe with a one-out double. That's a big run at second base for Washington. Now it's Billy Gardner. He's 0 for 2. The stretch by Segui and the pitch to Gardner is swung on by Gardner and uh, ground ball to Euler. Ray Euler fumbles it. And Ramos has to hold at second. The play in front of him. Gardner safe at first. The Senators have two on with one out for Lenny Green. Who hit a bomb in the third to account for all the runs in this game for Washington. And then embarrassed himself by grounding into a double play in the fifth. So it's been kind of a plus minus day for Lenny Green. The stretch by Segui and the pitch to the Senators center fielder. This is a ground ball hit to Euler. Ray gloves it. Goes to Donaldson for one. And the relay to Mincher is in time for a soul-crushing, rally-killing, and inning-ending. 6-4-3, double play, turned by Seattle. That's a big one. We go to the bottom of the, or we go to the eighth, excuse me, with your score. The Senators three and the Pilots one. We got a good one in Washington today. Mincher, Comer, and Whitaker, the meat of the order, coming up for Seattle in the eighth. The Senators' bullpen is cooking for Cookie Lavagetto. Ray Moore, and I think this is the Ray Moore who was with the White Sox in 59. Uh, a right-hander is throwing, and Chuck Stobbs, who I know was a Red Sox reliever, pitcher in the 50s. He's a left-hander. He's throwing as well. So it's lefty-righty double-barreled action for Cookie Lavagetto, just the way he likes it whenever he's in our nation's capital. Uh, Mincher, Comer, Whitaker coming up against Ramos. Pedro is throwing a three-hitter. The pitch is swung on by Mincher and then tapped back to Pedro. He throws to Killebrew, and there's one down in the Seattle eighth. 
Wayne Comer is 0 for 3. He's up there now. Ramos deals. Comer swings. It's to left. Jim Lemon into left center. A few steps. Makes the catch for out number two. Steve Whitaker now with nobody on base. Ramos deals to him and a little dribbler back to Pedro. He gloves it. Throws to Killebrew. And the Pilots are done in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth, and your score is Washington 3 and Seattle 1. Segui is out for his second inning of work. He'll face the meat of the Senators' order, Killebrew, Lemon, and Allison in the bottom of the eighth. Diego winds and deals. Killebrew swings. He hits this one to Euler at short. Ray gobbles it up and throws to Mincher for out number one. Jim Lemon is up there now. He's 0 for 3. The pitch from Sigi And Lemon drills this one down the right field line. It's going to rattle around in the corner, and Mike Hegan's got to go get it. Lemon around first. He's going to go into second with a one-out double, and that's a big potential run for Washington to deliver if Bob Allison can bring him home. Allison is 0 for 3. Reno Bertoya is on deck. Segui the stretch and the pitch to Allison. Swung on by Allison and this is trouble. It's into the left center field gap. It's going to split Whitaker and Comer. Scoring is Lemon. Allison around first. He's into second sliding with a double. And it's 4-1 Washington in the bottom of the eighth. Now it's Bertoya. The Pilots' bullpen is moving around. O'Donohue and Locker start to throw. Lefty-righty double-barreled action for Joe Schultz, who might be looking for a can of Budweiser a little bit early in this one. Bertoya's is 0 for 3. Segui, the stretch and the delivery, is swung on and hit to left. Dying quail. Here comes Whitaker. He's got it for out number two. Allison has to hold with the play in front of him, and that'll bring up Batty. Segui, the stretch, and the pitch to the Senators' catcher is swung on and hit back to Diego. He gloves it, throws to Mincher, and the Senators are done in the eighth, but they add an important insurance run or as they say in central Illinois, insurance. And we go to the ninth. With your score, Washington 4 and Seattle 1. Pedro Ramos is out for the ninth inning, trying to finish a three-hit victory over the Pilots. Moore and Stobbs are ready in the Senators' bullpen if needed. Ramos will face McNertney, Donaldson, and Euler scheduled in the Pilots' ninth. McNertney leads it off. Jerry is 0 for 3. Ramos deals to him, and there's a base hit for McNertney into right field. Bob Allison collects it and throws it back in, and the Pilots have their leadoff man on in the ninth. That is hit number 4 off Ramos today for the Pilots. Donaldson is one for three. The stretch by Ramos and the pitch to John is swung on and hit to shortstop Valdivielso, and he boots it. Then he picks it up. Then he throws it away. Killebrew blocks it in the dirt. McNerney's going to go all the way around to third base. Donaldson is safe on the E6. That is error number four of the game for the Senators, and the biggest offensive weapon for the Pilots has been Washington's defense. We're going to get a pinch hitter now for Ray Euler, and that's going to be Merritt Renu, the backup catcher, left-handed batter. We'll see if Cookie Lavagetto wants to make a move here. And he does not. He stays in the dugout just watching Ramos. So Washington will play at double play depth and try and get Renew to hit into a ground hit a ground ball double play here. 
Moving into the on-deck circle, the pinch hit for Diego Segui is Greg Goosen. So the wheels are turning for Joe Schultz. The stretch by Ramos and the delivery to Renew is swung on and hit in the air to right field. Not deep. Under it is Bob Allison. He makes the catch for out number one. Holding is McNertney. And here comes Goosen to bat for Segui. Goosen, a right-handed batter. He is also the tie run at the plate. Ramos the stretch and the pitch to Greg. And Goosen draws a walk. The bases are loaded with pilots here in the ninth inning. Now we're going to get a pinch runner at first base, and that is going to be uh, John Kennedy running for Goosen. So if Tommy Harper hits a gapper, maybe Kennedy can score from first. We'll see. Bases are loaded. Harper is the potential go-ahead run in this game. There is one out in the ninth. Lavagetto just chewing his gum in the Senators' uh, dugout. Keegan is on deck. The stretch by Ramos and the pitch to Harper. Swung on by Tommy. Uh, and this one is hit to Valdivioso. Uh, and Valdivielso is going to flip to Bertoya at third to force Donaldson. So Harper will reach. Donaldson retired 6-5 to five on the fielder's choice. McNertney scores. It's 4-2. And Kennedy goes to second. So the runners for the Pilots now are at... Second, Kennedy at second, Harper at first, two outs, a 4-2 game, and Hegan comes to the plate. Well, hmm, that's going to do it. Here comes Lavagetto, and we're going to get Chuck Stobbs. To create a lefty-lefty matchup. Stobbs going for his first save of the season. Now, Stobbs, well, first let's tell you about Ramos. Eight and two-thirds innings. He allowed four hits. He walked one, two, three, four men. He struck out five. He allowed... He allowed two runs, and neither of them are earned. Stobbs is on in 1960. He was a C-grade pitcher with YZ modifiers. He's a lefty, so he gets bumped to a B-grade here against Hegan. Donald, or, uh, Kennedy at second. Harper at first. Good speed for Seattle on the base pass. The stretch by Stobbs and the pitch to Hegan. Is swung on by Mike, and he strike him out. That's the ball game. Stobbs comes in and brings the gas. Let's give you the totals on this one. It was a good game. For the homestanding and victorious 1960 Washington Senators, four runs. Seven base hits, and you're going to love this one. One, two, three, four, five errors, and they won the game. The Pilots, two runs on four hits, all of them singles, and they committed two errors. The winning pitcher, Pedro Ramos, the loss, go, the save goes to Chuck Stobbs, and the loss goes to Marty Patton. With the victory, the Senators improved their record to two and three. The Pilots dropped to one and four. 
This is APA Vintage Season Action. Love it. Thank you so much for being with me. Hope you have a great evening. Don't forget to check out channel membership in the description for this video. For now, from Washington, D.C., your final, the 1960 Senators 4, the 1969 Pilots 2. So long, everybody.